guys. So uh, yesterday I did a, a bush job and a tree job. I trimmed a tree and trimmed a few bushes, nothing big, but uh, this is a regular occurrence where my truck is full and we have to get it taken care of. So I'm gonna show you today where I take my garbage to dump. Um, out here in Illinois, there's not many places that you can go. Um, and unfortunately, you have to pay everywhere you go. So I go to a waste management landfill. Um, there's really only two places in my area, uh, waste management and then there's a privately owned one. It's cheaper, but they're very restrictive on what they take. So they don't take grass clippings, but uh, the waste management does, they take everything. Uh, just not garbage and metal. So tree trimmings, bush clippings, grass, everything, they take it. So that's where we're gonna be going today. And then I have to um, do some yards and bushes today. So I'll fill my truck up again. So, uh, yep. This is, uh, this is a regular occurrence. So I'm gonna show you where I go today dump all right so we're on our way to the dump and uh, the last couple couple weeks actually it's been over 90 degrees out here and uh, insane humidity so yesterday while I was working I drank over a gallon of water just on one job just because it was so hot so humid I was sweating profusely not a dry article of clothing on my body. It's crazy. So, today's gonna be another one of those days. It's gonna be uh, 92 today. And the last night, while it was 78 degrees, the humidity was still at 98%. Uh, so today's gonna be a swamp everywhere on my body. So yeah, I'm enjoying the cool while it is, while it's still what it was at 73 right now. Um, so yeah, on days that I normally go to the dump, I will leave early in the morning because there's generally a line to get into this place early in the morning. Um, if you go later in the afternoon, it's not so bad, or in the middle of the day, it's not so bad. But early in the morning, and then at the end of the day, it's really packed. I'll show you the setup once we get there, but today's a little different. I'm getting a later start than I normally would when I go to the dump uh, because I have to meet a friend of mine and do some measurements around a new patio he just had put in um, for some soil. I've got to grade the soil out to the existing yard. So that's why I'm getting a late start. I'm expecting to have to wait about 15 minutes to get into the dump uh, in line. So never fun but generally I would leave around 6 30 in the morning so I could get there at 7 as soon as they open and be the first person in line or generally you know the first two or three people in line that way I don't have to wait so long alrighty at that job for my friend it took a little bit longer than anticipated which is normally the case but um, we're here we made it finally and luckily because we are a little bit late we missed the rush I think that if I would have been here when I anticipated we would have been sitting in line As you can see the lines not too bad just two semi trucks in front of me and nobody behind me so that's good so what we do here is we just wait in line. They put us on a scale. Um, for little trucks like me, they don't they don't go by weight. They just look at your your bed. Normally, one um, one full bed equals one yard, and it's twenty bucks a yard. So 
for this load, I'm looking to pay maybe 20 bucks, 21.64, I think, or $20.64 is what it is. <coughs> so for what I did yesterday was $375 of work, and really my only expense, um, the little bit of fuel I used, obviously, in my, my trimmers, and uh, $20.64. So not a bad day. Well, actually, that wasn't all day. That was just the one job. So that wasn't a bad job. That's some good profit on that job. So yeah, we'll pay for this and then I'll show you on the way down. It's uh, it's quite a trek to get down to the landfill and um, you should smell it. It stinks so bad. I'm sure you've all smelled rotting grass in the back of your truck before. Well, multiply this like on a scale a million times worse. Um, it's crazy. It smells like rotten butt horse poop just nastiness so I'll show you on the way down all right so I'm in I just paid um, ironically they have a top and a bottom section to this and all of the end of last year and all of this year um, we've been going to the bottom but apparently the bottom is full now and the bottom is down there it's uh, like a landfill, like it, it goes about 150 feet down into the ground. But today is the first time I'm going up for probably about the last two years I haven't been up to the top. So I dropped my trailer, as you can see, because there's no need to bring my trailer up here and it gets really tight. Um, so you drop your trailer and then you drive on up. There you can almost see the landfill down there. And then you just drive on up here and they got everything going. They got the composter, the shredder. And there's the pile. So this is where I drop all my refuse. Well, luckily it's not too muddy up here because they haven't used it up here for a while. So I don't have to wash my truck today. <laughs> I'm kind of anal about my truck. I like it looking good. So do the clients. They don't want no beater, nasty truck outside of their million dollar house. So now I'm gonna go and offload. Okay, empty truck. So this is what I do. To make it easier on me, when I have all my grass. Some of you might know this trick, some of you might not. I have an old bed liner in here from one of my old trucks. And what I do is I put all the grass on top of it and then when it's time to come to the dump all I have to do is pull this out and all my grass comes out yeah sometimes when it's wet it gets heavy and it requires a lot of pulling and stuff but it's still better than shoveling it all out with a pitchfork um, sometimes when I'm gonna be going for an extended period of time um, and have more grass in here I'll throw a tarp down and then put the grass on top of the tarp and that makes it a lot easier to pull out because you can wrap the tarp around your hand and you have more leverage to pull it out so that's just a quick tip it also works from trailers too if you have you know grass that you put in your trailer put down a tarp first put down the tarp and then put the grass on top of it you pull the grass out instead of shoveling all right so we're done at the dump Gonna go back down the hill and uh, hook up the trailer and start work. It's quite the operation here, man. They're pretty smart. They charge people to bring their stuff here. They charge us to bring in the grass clippings and all the tree clippings and bush clippings. And then what they do out of it, out of it, they make compost, and then they sell the compost. So they're making money on both ends, both bringing the material in. And then selling it so it's funny we pay them to take our crap and then we pay them again when we need compost for jobs it's pretty smart so here we are going back down the hill the trailer is up over there I'll hook up the trailer pretty easy day today um, I wanted to get an early start but uh, it's 10 10 but that's all right. 
I only got five yards to do today and one one uh, bush trimming, so it's not too bad. That's my trailer. Time to hook her up. Gotta love the uh, the backup camera. Sometimes it works when you're not trying to video. Ugh. Try this again. There we go. Put it right on there. I always use my AC when I'm at the dump too because this place gets really dusty. It rained all night last night, so it's not too bad right now, but boy, in the summertime, whenever it's dry and we've had a dry spell, dust everywhere. They have the spray trucks out, spraying everything down. So let's see if I can do this one handed. <laughs> Yes, I just picked up my trailer. It's definitely easier to do with two hands, but we got her done with one. I better put this back in the truck or else that'll fall out. All right, garbage can can stay. We're good to go. Good to go. We'll see you on the flip side. So that's it, guys. That's that's what I do to take my stuff to the dump. This is where we go to the dump. Like I said, there's one other spot, but it's definitely not. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper, but they don't take everything that I have. So it just makes sense to spend a, two more dollars and come here. So they take everything. It's pretty quick. You get in, you get out get on about your business so leave any comments or questions you have um, I just made this video because I didn't see any videos out there where people dump the only one one video I saw was top-notch top-notch Brian uh, showed everybody where he takes his uh, clippings to dump looked like it was an old farm piece of property so that was really the only video I found on uh, online so I figured I'd put one out there. This is where I go to dump all my clippings. All right, be sure to like us, comment, questions down below. See ya.